What do you want from me? Okay, one hundred. Calm down. Forty-three. I'm ever the hell of that. Oh! Shaw, baby. Hey there, my awesome turtle testic shellhead. What's up? It's me, L from Team T by L Smith 2.0. And today is Q&A day, baby, and it's number three, which means I have a lot of questions to answer, just like what I knew on Q&A number two. I thought, I didn't get that many questions. So now people's going to ask me like 50 questions and stress me out just because they, they love watching me stress out and they, they think it's funny. That That is totally fine. So it's question time, question time, question time. Here we go. First questions are from Jennifer Mercado and she asks, have you seen Serpent Karai in Walmart yet? I need her. No, I have not. And she has been on my turtle hunt list for just ever since I heard that they were coming out with Snake Cry, I was looking for her even before they put her on the shelf. I don't know why I'm always doing that. I guess I was hoping that maybe they would somehow put her on the shelves early, but she is on the shelves right now. Uh, sadly, no, I've not been able to find her at Walmart. I've been looking everywhere and I think I'm going to have to go to Target to get her because that's where a lot of people are finding their new Ninja Turtle action figures and she just seems like one of those very rare and exclusive figures to find and Target is the only place that I can find those kind of figures at around here and Target sadly is like an hour away and I don't get to go there very often so hopefully I will get that snake to ride and good luck to you girl on the turtle hunt as well. She also asked, did you watch what I sent you on Instagram? Sadly no girl, I have not checked my Instagram in a very long time and I don't even know why I even have my Instagram up on my YouTube channel because I never even get on there. It's been weeks since I got on there. However, I do have two Instagram accounts. I have my TNT by L. Smith Instagram account and then have another one that's not my actual personal one. And a lot of you guys have actually found out that it's me. They're like, I had somebody come on like, oh my gosh, you're L. And I'm like, how did they find me? They recognized my art style and I was like, crud. So, I'm not going to tell you guys what my personal Instagram account is. If you really want to find me, just search Ninja Turtle stuff. I will pop up somewhere on it. She also um, said, did you know there's a new short Frozen Fever uh, March 13th? Yes, I've heard about it. And also, Frozen 2 was just announced the other day. But sadly, I'm not going to get to see the Frozen Fever thing. Or was that, is that, the, is that what it's called, Frozen Fever? I'm not for sure. They talk about something. If you go see this one movie, they're going to do a short clip of Frozen. But I'm not going to get to see it because right now there's nothing in the shows that I want to go see. So, I'm really excited about Frozen 2. That'll be awesome. Mayela de la Torre, is that how you say your name? Which is your favorite episode of Team T 2012? If you're asking me which is my number one episode out of the whole new carnation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Nickelodeon, I can't choose that. But I can choose my favorite episode for each season. Season one, my favorite episode is Cockroach Terminator, which was the one where Donatello had the spy roach, which got mutated into the Cockroach Terminator, which freaking stalked Raphael and chased him to near death. <laughs> that was really funny. Season 2 is The Good, The Bad, and Casey Jones because I just freaking love Casey Jones and Raph. They're my two favorite bad boys, and I really loved that episode. It was awesome. Season 3, well, right now my favorite one would probably have to be The Battle for New York with the Mighty Mutant Animals. That was really cool. Um, so, but I am have a feeling it'll probably change by the time Season 3 is over because Season 3 just keeps getting better and better. Ginna, 2111 said, hi Elle, I have some questions for you. Alright, what you got girl? Have you ever heard of Michelle Ivy? She is like the biggest TNT fan in the whole world. Uh, if you're talking about the girl who does Calvin Corner, I'm not sure what her name is, but I'm pretty sure that is her, and yes, I know a lot about her. <laughs> My mom thought I was the most obsessed Ninja Turtle fan girl, and then I showed her Michelle Ivy, and she's like, Okay, for once, my daughter is normal, actually. <laughs> if something happened to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and it made them turn into ponies, what would you do? Not sure, but I have a feeling Dusky would just freaking freak out over that. Maybe some bronies that are also TNT fans. I prefer the Ninja Turtles to stay Ninja Turtles, but if they were to turn into Teenage Mutant Ninja Ponies, I guess I would love, I would learn to love it. TNT lover Cupcake1 asks, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Who is your least favorite character in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Depends on which series and carnation you're talking about, also with the movies. Um, probably, 
I'm not gonna say Shredder. Shredder is awesome. He's not my least favorite, but probably for this new series, it would have to be probably the Rat King. I don't really care about the new Rat King. I like the old 80s Rat King. And he didn't make much sense, but he was kind of funny. I don't like this Rat King. He's just like dark, gloomy, and doom. Oh wait, no, that's back to stop, man. I tried to make a Ninja Turtle joke there, but it didn't work. If Mikey threw two water balloons filled with pink paint and sparkles in them at me, or does that what you're talking about? What would you do, and how would you react? If he threw them at me, oh, he would be a dead turtle. Not, 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 not like, I'm not gonna kill Mikey, but I would beat the freaking shell out of him, because one, I don't like pink. Two, I hate sparkles. Three, you throw a water balloon on me with paint and you better run for your life. You are freaking dead. Thank you for taking the time to read my questions. Thank you for taking the time to ask me those questions. Ninja Turtle slash Wings Club Girl said, Hey L, question time again, LL. When are your recaps going to be up on the new episode? It's going to be probably a couple of months before I get around to those because right now my life is really busy with working and actually I really only have time to make Q&A videos. So hopefully once I get past this job and you know getting used to like my schedule and get my art stuff set up where I can actually start making money on that and everything I will start making those videos. Which Vision Quest outfit did you like the least? My favorite one was um, Leonardo and Donatello but my least favorites were Raphael and Michelangelo. I didn't really like Raph because I didn't like the thing that they were trying to make with his mask and the hoodie. I think it was probably a good idea at the beginning but I just don't like how it just came out. I think it looked weird. And Mikey's I don't like because he has the do-rag and he looks a lot like what the same as it never was Michelangelo was and I hate that. I hate that episode so much because it makes me cry and I swore I will never watch again. I've never watched it again. I've also swore if TNT Nick makes an episode like this, I will not watch it. I refuse to watch it. I just, I can't do it. It is too freaking sad and it hurts me too much emotional. <laughs> Because the new turtles are like family me and then your turtle died. This is not cool. I don't care how much the feels are. It's so sad. So I'd have to say Mikey's is my least favorite out of all of them. Did you like the part in Racing with the Demon when April hugged Raph? Not me. I loved it. I thought it was very cute and I thought it was really stupid that a lot of people were getting mad. This is supposed to be April Taylor, not Raffle. She just hugged him. They're like brother and sister. Brothers and sisters hug one another, but I know what you're talking about. I will admit, that made me a little bit jealous of April because she got to hug Raph. I would love to hug Raph. I would love to take a picture like that with him. I'm so jealous. Why can't I be April? Claire Carey said, hey Elle, how did you feel when Karai Meewaw got captured by Shredder? And what's your prediction on what's going to happen to her? Um, when she first got captured by Shredder, I was mad because the fact that Shredder got her. But then also I was happy because now she's at the point where... She's like giving up on herself. She can't really fight the mutation anymore. It's taking over her human insanity. And now she's going to turn into an insane Godzilla snake woman roaming New York City. So I'm kind of glad that Shredder did capture her. And I know he is going to try to fix her. But I have a feeling that it's not going to go as planned because Baxter Stockman. I just don't trust him with trying to demutate something. I mean, you saw how he did with Splinter. It didn't really go well. So, yeah. Uh, my prediction is maybe Baxter Stuntman tries to fix her. Something goes wrong. Or maybe he does end up fixing her. But, uh, you know, Shredder is talking about we're going to um, have revenge, my daughter. I guess he's expecting when Karai gets demutated that she's just going to, like, love him again. And that they're going to get revenge on the turtle. I got a feeling that's going to backfire and Schroeder's going to get his butt kicked by his daughter. <laughs> and do you want to hear a prediction story of what happens to Karai? Yes, I would love to hear a prediction story of what happens to Karai. Dollstudio12 asks, besides TNT, what other fandoms did you grow up with? Besides Ninja Turtles, I grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog and Pokemon. Ellen asked, hey Elle, it's me again. I'm here with some new questions. So are you ready? Yeah, girl, I guess I'm ready. And here we go. Do you know or like The Legend of Zelda? And if you do, which is your favorite? My horror? My, my doula's mask, Alcanina, I have no idea what those names are and etc. That tells you how much I know about Legend of Zelda. Honestly, I don't know that much about Legend of Zelda. I can recognize Legend of Zelda stuff, but I can't tell you much about it. What is your opinion about how April reacts to Donnie since Season 3? For instance, in the episode with a big with Bigfoot. Um, so far in Season 3, I really love how Epitello is doing. I mean, you do have the sad feels. You do have that, oh, I feel sorry for Donnie and April feels. You have, oh my gosh, they're perfect. I love how April Tello is in season three, and I really think that Donnie and April are eventually going to be canon, and I can't wait! 
Are you collecting the Turtle Card Game slash the TNT Magazine? Sadly, no. I did, there's nothing. I've looked for those. There's I can't find any Ninja Turtle magazines or card stuff. I can't find the cards or anything around where I live. We just don't have it. I don't know why. How would you react if Johnny Raff want to marry you? Which one would you take and why? If they both came up to me and asked me that on the same day, I would just tell them, no, I don't want to get married. I honestly don't want to get married. I mean, even just them. And even if both of them came up to me, I would be like, I couldn't choose one of them. I would not break one of their hearts. I just, I could not take the emotional stress on that. That would be too much. Do you know NCIS and do you like it? Yes, I know NCIS and I haven't watched it in a long time. But so, dudes and dudes, that's it for this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for asking me all of those questions. Thanks for watching. And if you want to ask me more questions for next week's Q&A, be sure to do that in the comments below. And I'll be sure to upload it on Friday or Saturday. Until next time, I'll talk to you awesome Turtle Tester Shellheads next time on my YouTube channel. Booyah, Kasha, baby. L is.